Hello to everyone, this is Vishal. Now we have another session of the day that is how we can use the Rx Java with Retrofit together. So it's an uh, important session of the day because of we already work with simple Rx Java and simple Retrofit. So how both together works in your projects, in your apps and make it easy. So that's an example we have to create because of where we have a multiple web services or uh, where you want to uh, make uh, multiple calls so we can make it very easy for the json data getting json data or we have a multiple asynchronous task be there so that i already described to you in my uh, uh, rx java video how we can why why it is used as an asynchronous task and how we can achieve this and in this tutorial i have to show to that how we can make a json calls using the rx java and retrofit using both and uh, we I, I already described to you said how you can make a models with here so i'm taking the same example but there was the simple retrofit example as uh, in my previous video but and today i have to show to you that how we can make it as a uh, your retrofit with rx java together with the same json json okay so here we have a json and uh, uh, we take it a local json okay and here we have a first name last name likewise that and i have to get data and if you want to make your pozo classes be there so you can use a json schema to pozo that i already already described to you how you can make it those who are new you who, who can see my previous video or previous tutorial in which i already described these things to you okay the same thing i have to work today but uh, using the retrofit and json uh, sorry rx java together okay so that's the task of the day and uh, i'm taking the local json on my local server so i will show to you okay so for this first you need a libraries of the json retrofit converter json rx java rx android and retrofit to rx java adapters okay so i think this is the latest version or if there be any on upgraded then you can use that okay so that's the simple and i started from here here i have a compilations that already we compiled and i already be this imply and imply list the same thing uh, as we did it for the retrofit example and here i have to start from the remote that is how you can make your api calls so for this you have a api service or you can give the name api call any name and make the interface of it that's it and one more class you need it for the retrofit that is retro class so good okay so in inside this interface what we need you have to put the get and here what we want we want a location of this and here we have a first dot json and here that is the most important here we need a observable because of in mvvm everything we want uh, in a form of observable or base observable so today i am just showing to you how you can fetch these things and because of this is observable means this is our json that is our sources and we are subscriber and get this observables okay so the same thing we will do that in mvvm approach but it just be a simple list view i have to describe without mvvm because first you have to clear your funda once you clear your funda that become very easy 
to achieve these kind of things so here you have to put employee list and get say get employee list so this is our interface ready and retro class inside this retro class we have to call this interface so we need a private static final string and that is your this for our local server so i want via http as 192.168.13 2.2 and it's not the same for all if you have uh, maybe uh, you can say that uh, if you have um, your IP config address according to that it will be changed and give the name to this as a base URL okay so that's it now how you can make a retrofit a private static it's just like a when you call it a singleton type okay so that is your retrofit and give the name to this get retro fit instance so easy and here we have to return a new retrofit dot builder dot you have to use this base url and that is your base url we have to fetch the data for this base url okay then that's the most important thing here we have a add converter factory and call adapter factory so first i have to make it a call converter factory and that converter factory be always be json converter factory dot we have to create okay and it becomes so long so make it on the next line and here we have a add sorry add call adapter factory so here we have a rx java to call adapter factory because of we already uh, compiled that library okay so here this is your create that is the most important thing we need this adapter that is with the rx java call adapter factory and dot build so now we have our return retrofit be ready and for this api service call we have to make it so this is your public static api service and that api service be get api that we have to access only that api service and in this we have to return get retrofit instance dot uh, your create what we have to create api service dot class so that's it so whenever we need this we have to go uh, we have to get api service call anywhere where we want to fetch data so that's very easy retro class you have to make this retro class and get access data anywhere these two things are very important and now this is our employee model and i want to be uh, inner layout for that because of i want the list view so in activity main first you have to make a list view match parent wrap contents and this is your id id is your list view and divider height be your 6 dp and the background be your color primary and i have to create a button to fetch the data making a match parent and here id is your mm, fetch data and this is your text text is fetch data that's easy 
and this is your parent bottom So that's be our design. Okay, and if you want with the background color of this button, ascent, fine. Okay, so that's be things in a main activity. I'm just using directly here. Do not be use any data binding. It's very simple. So make it a private list view and a list view and private uh, button this is the button alt enter and this list view be as a list view find view by id r dot id dot list view and this is your button and button is equals to button find view by id this is your r dot id dot uh, fetch data okay and here on this button call we have to fetch our data so that is set on click listener new on click listener okay so we have to call our load json function be here so that's the scenario of main activity be ready and model be ready and retro class be ready now we have to make adapter but for adapter i have to create a inner layout for that and that inner layout be your inner layout name and uh, make it as a linear layout this is your wrap content and this uh, uh, we can say it as orientation be your vertical that's easy and here i want be the text view match parent wrap content id first name and text first name at this time text size 20 dp margin top 10 dp so easy and just copy paste it And here, this is your last name. And also, if you want to be the background, make a background color asset. Okay, so that's uh, our view be ready. First name and last name. Now the main work is on custom adapter. So for this, what we have to do, make a package. Package name is adapter. And in this adapter, we have to create a Java class that is your custom adapter. So it's easy to make a base adapter. You have an array adapter, a lot of adapters you can work, but uh, here it's just simple if you go for the base adapter and make all the methods be here, implement methods, all the four methods be here. Okay, and here 
first we need a list of employee employee list alt enter okay now private context it's your context these two things we need for our uh, constructor so this is your public custom adapter context context comma list of employee and that is employee list this dot context equal to context this dot employee list is equals to employee list and how you can get count that is your uh, employee list dot size and here get item for this is your employee list dot get your position so that's be ready leave this get item id and now we have to work with this get view that is the most important so for this we need a class uh, view holder because of in a data binding these things be very easy so i'm making this just for uh, to clear your funda i don't want to go with this kind of things because of it just unnecessary time wasting but my future my, uh, my other mvvm videos and future videos you can see that data bindings be very easy okay so here we have a text view uh, in text view we have a first name what happened here okay this is your first name and this is your last name so easy and everything should be in this view so i want a position i want a convert view and this name is parent if convert view is equals to null so what to do and also be we want a view holder class so view holder make the object for that okay and one more thing that is the most important it's your layout inflator because of we have to inflate that inner layout and here you can say it's layer filter layout inflator dot from context so this is the context okay so if it is null then what to do so this is your convert view is your layout inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot okay first to all enter inner layout dot then we have a parent comma false so that's the parameters for the convert okay so this is your ready and here you can say this is view holder as a new view holder and for this new holder we have a name view holder dot first name as a text view because of we need this text view is your convert view dot find view by id this is your r dot id dot first name 
first name because of in our inner layout the first name is first name and the same thing we have to work but for the last name copy paste so this is your last name this is your last name okay and that means our convert view dot set tag be ready for the view holder class object okay, this is your if condition and else what to do we need a get tag for the particular view holder so this is your view holder and we need a view holder tag for this class this is your uh, view holder convert view dot get tag okay so that's it and if everything is fine then we need uh, this employee data employee as an uh, employee get item and this is your position and in the view holder dot first name dot set text we need a imply dot get first name so this is by the getter setters okay and uh, view holder dot last name dot set text imply dot get last name everything is fine so we have to return this convert view so instead of null we have to convert return the convert view so that's the custom adapter ready now we have to call the load json call be here so make a function void load json For this we need to call the API service as we have built it so this is your API service and API service is equals to your retro class get API service because of here it become so easy we have a API service for observable employee list we have to call it for the retro class getting this API service because we have already been the instance of that now in main activity first make this observable and this observable we have for our employee list and give the name to this observable and that observable is for that api service dot first we need to get employee list dot and for this json data we need to subscribe so we need to subscribe on for the schedulers so schedulers that means for the multiple scheduling means we when we have a multiple asynchronous task we need this schedulers because of uh, on the server or anywhere it can be discri discriminate that which schedulers we call for which service okay so that is input output calls so schedulers dot we have to create a new thread or dot for this dot just a minute for this dot we have to observe on our android schedulers dot main thread which one is our main thread so that's it so this is the line for the observable and now we have to observable dot subscribe new observer for the employee list so you can see automatically be their methods on error on completed on next and on subscribe 
so here we have to get data on next method that always be this is your imply list values so one more thing we needed here one list private list imply imply list okay and one more thing also we need that is our custom adapter we have to call here for the list view custom adapter custom adapter everything fine okay so on the next method of rx java so this is new array list okay now this is your list of imply implies and that is your uh, value dot get implies very easy so we have to put this data int is equals to zero uh, make it i and i is less than your implies dot size and i plus plus okay so that's b we have a uh imply class that is your new imply and this is the imply dot set first name as in your get i dot get first day okay so that's easy and just copy paste it set last name get last name and now we have to add this in our employees so this is employees imply okay so that's the things be ready now we have to pass this list in custom adapter so what to do custom adapter is equals to new custom adapter main activity dot this comma imply list so that's be what happened with this context context okay that's my mistake comma okay so the everything is fine and then we have to list view dot set adapter that is your custom adapter okay so that's be the things ready for our list view yeah so the last thing is mm -mm -mm, manifest file and here you need a uh, use permission internet that's it now we have to run this and let's see what happens Okay, let's see what happened here. Mm. Yeah, so this our scene and now we have to click on this fetch data. 
yeah so this is the data here you can see at uh, the first name last name first name last name so this is the rest rest uh, sorry um, retrofit with your rx java example and in my next video i will show to you how we make a mvvm approach a pure mvvm approach using these things because of you already know about the data bindings and uh, view models techniques and likewise that but everything with the logic as in a view model so we have to work on that and uh, we have to um, create all the logics and get and fetch the data with there so that's the important task of that and in, in the form of base observable and observable because of we get the data as in the same thing in using the retrofit so thank you for this tutorial and on the next video i will show to you how we can do these things thank you so much